<laughs> I probably seem like a dick. It's like, fricks the tech. My run needs to be perfect. <laughs> and then, shing. <laughs> If they can actually hear me for that, that was a pretty good joke. Yeah, I know. It's like, we're live? No. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Anyway, explain what it is. Hopefully that get put bits put gets put in the highlight. We're going to start... Uh, because basically I'm the only one who runs this game, I, I, I chose where to start the timing. <laughs> so I'm going to start when, I gain, when we get control. Um, do you want to explain what happened in the last game quickly while we I start? Because I'm not watching this. That's being put on the spot. <laughs> uh, you watched it and I explained it to you like five seconds ago. The whole um, plot. Here's a here's a tutorial. Even though like you should have like played the first game already, so I'm not exactly sure why they're doing this. You can't skip the dialogue for the um this one. This is just a like a. Um, so I need to view this pizza. Are you gonna explain it? <laughs> I, I was I was letting you finish. I mean, I know that at the very least you you <laughs> swapped yourself into a hostage situation and found there was no actual terrorist. You just had. There, well, there is a terrorist. He's just not here. Yeah. Also, Hector really hates brown sauce, so we just ruined this pizza. So the only thing we can do with it now is throw it at the uh. wall. <laughs> Come on, there we go. It's just telling you how to combine C items, use them, and stuff, basically. Also, keep saying slide, even though it's not on a phone. Which really confused me. You just need to move your mouse and click. Anyway, now I need to remember what to do. Get this floorboard. So we're going to get this floorboard. You remember this Who Cares badge that was useless in the first game? It's now finally useful. We can use it to undo this so we can get the wires from behind the light switch. Also, if anyone wonders, you can might be able to hear me. Good thought. Hang on a second. That. We need to make a fishing rod. We like making fishing rods in these games. Use it with the pizza box so we can use the um, face recognition system on the sniper to make it shoot its own laptop and basically destroy it. <laughs> so we can take it and shoot the door so we can get out of this room that's like locked for some reason. I don't Ooh. know. It must be a remote lock. Also, I just accidentally clicked out of the game. Uh, excuse me. Windows. 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 Really? Come on. There we go. Hey. I blame Natty. <laughs> it's his PC. Save. Save the run. If anyone can hear me mash the keyboard, the, this game doesn't have keyboard controls, but I've mapped the right, mouse buttons it. to both control the keys. Bloody mainly bleep. because I mashing the the mouse keys is really annoying. So I'm gonna, I'm just, some big dialogue bits here gets really annoying. And so you, made, you made the rules, so... I made the rules, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, there's a lot of speedrun communities that are like, well, I, I'm not using a macro, I'm not holding the key down and have it smash for me, and I'm not mapping more than one key to one. It's literally just putting the key yeah, yeah, exactly. as the mouse. Also, Windows again. Anyway, so we have to click that. We basically, you get, you, there's an explosion happens and you fall through the ceiling down to the basement. It's all Pick up this mannequin hand and the sniper. Uh, pick up this laptop piece, which is the laptop that just got shot. This will be used later. Now we need to go to the toilet. <laughs> so, if you remember, Hector ate the, the microphone bug that was in the pizza. So now he's going to uh, pass it. And now it's in the toilet. So he's speaking. <laughs> Everyone went to the pub except for Lambert. So he's going to help. But all of the <laughs> all of the tools get stolen. Oh, this has disappeared. It, <laughs> like yeah, I, you sk <laughs> skip the dialogue that makes it skip. They go away. So you get to control Lambert in this game. It's pretty fun. He's he, he's no different. But you can switch between them at this point. This is like just a gimmick for the start. <laughs> so now he's reading the dialogue. Uh, I'm going to pick up this shopping trolley. Uh, jump scare warning, by the way. Oh, this trolley. Oh. Homeless boy jumps out of fridge. He's part of a puzzle. He just he just has a hook for a hand and he need, and we need that. Okay, I keep clicking outside of the window. Okay, so we're gonna pick up these stilettos that these women who are on this hen do. So these women, I think the one on the curb is it's her wedding and they need to get to a, a wedding. So we need to find them a mode of transport because we want their hairspray because the overall plan is to like um, explode the. Um, explode the toilet so Hector can get out of the building. And we can send Maybe. items between H Hector and Lambert using the vent, and there's a thing at the... F there's a pipe at the front of the house... Uh, at the front of the building as well. 
So use the stiletto to open it, and the stiletto, and the stiletto, the part of the stiletto, the, the what is it called? The he the, heel? the heel? Yeah. Falls down here, and we can use it as an item, basically. Going up and down these stairs is really Should annoying. We? The on that the only reason for this downstairs part is for the beginning where you fall through it and collecting items. Uh, there's an inaccessible room to the left, the, gi the giant hector-shaped hole that he fell through. <laughs> we need to make a bridge across it so we can use this door. Perfect. Because cool. there's stuff in this room we need. You can just jump over it. You it's think hard. Hector can jump? <laughs> Dude. Nice. Anyway, uh, there's a bucket in this hole we need to get later, but we can't get it yet. This room Much is full is of uh, spoilers. This is a uh, brown sauce. Here's a plastic sp it's a knife. I was about to say spoon. <laughs> Insert Simpsons reference here, by the way. Um, so we need to send these down to Lambert because he needs to use them. So we got this hand. We need to. If if, if anyone can Let's guess see. what the hand is for, you no, win yeah. no prize because it's probably kind of easy to guess if you watched the last like five minutes. Unfortunately, I have to like. Walking between these two bits is really annoying, but whatever. I need to pick these up. Oh, oh, it's quite handy. It's yeah, thanks, oh, thanks, Lambert, for the terrible. Nice. Lambert is the innocent one, and Hector is the foul-mouthed one. By the way, <laughs> some some reason they're. I mean, they're detective. I was gonna say good cop, bad cop, but that's not really. They're just both bad. They're, they're, they're detectives. <laughs> And partner. Anyway, so we give this kid, this homeless kid, who's missing a hand, this <laughs> mannequin hand, so we can get his hook. And then I think he made a pirate joke. I'm pretty sure. He's going to become relevant again. But we need to go through here. So if anyone watched the first run, you'll remember we had to impersonate a guy with a handbag and a wig. And you know who's in this boot. The guy we were impersonating. <laughs> Basically, because Hector never gave them the thing or whatever it was. Oh shit, I need to double click him first to remove the... I need to stop pressing the Windows key. Is there a lock on this to lock the Windows key? <laughs> there is. I don't know how to activate it though. <laughs> so not used to it. I can axe it out of both. You can talk to this guy, but there's no reason. You can just out axe it out of his dialogue. So we can use the plastic knife to saw through his rope. Takes a while. What about the hook? I feel like the hook would be much more efficient at cutting it. So he's got a... Uh, what is it called? Concrete shoes, right? It's the thing that people... That, the, well, I don't know. Someone in chat can explain that law. <laughs> law. As if real life is law. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, the only reason we really want to do that is so we can get his rope. I keep clicking outside of the... Windows. Wind... <laughs> Windows. Stop doing this. Look, look, what is this? You can't see... What am I doing? Natty, what do you have installed on your PC that I can do that with? I've never done that in <laughs> Windows before. Anyway, so we actually need to go off of the screen to come back over here because this kid is now building his dream house out of matchsticks. Of but we want those matchsticks so we can uh, ignite... I shouldn't have clicked the matchsticks. I need to um, do this. Uh, so Hector can start this explosion that he needs to do. Uh, so we need to basically adopt this child, so he'll give us the matches. Uh, it's like, if you adopt me, so Philomena is his wife, always talking about having some kids. And apparently the kid steals his wallet as well. And then just dances oh. away. <laughs> Little tyke stolen my wallet. Anyway, I need to take these. We're nearly done with this section, I'm pretty sure. Nearly done with Lambert. They have explained that cement shoes. When the operating the system is your biggest enemy. Yeah, yeah I did it again! <laughs> <laughs> I have the keys on, like I said, a map to... Uh, I have my red left and mouse map to control keys as well. So, I, And I have it windowed, so... Because during the game... Uh, sometimes the mouse doesn't appear, so I move it outside of the window so I can see where my mouse is just for ease of use. And I keep double-clicking wrong. 
Usually that doesn't happen with Windows. If I right or left click yeah. on the no, on the desktop, it doesn't break the game and take control. It just pauses for a second. Anyway, so the reason we needed some of this stuff... Uh, okay, some of this stuff. Let me talk about the first bits. <laughs> we need the, f the hook and the mop. Take another, like, oh, like, I guess... Let's call it a fishing rod. Yeah, why not? <laughs> to take this bucket that you can just about see gotcha. out. So we can take the wheels off. Nice. Anyone guess what the wheels are for? Oh, yeah. Tector says something about the rope. Yeah, I wonder what some people are saying in chat. Um, which bit do I do first? Uh, it's off the thing. I couldn't see it. I was like, which one do I use? And it's the thing that was I had to scroll off the screen for. So we're finally getting to get, gonna get these girls their transport. But I haven't discussed with them yet that they want transport, and this game, you can't sequence break everything, so I need to ask them what do they need to do. So they need to uh, vacate the area. Where are you girls looking to get to? And she explains that it's her, gonna be her wedding. Uh, I'll see if I can arrange transports. I'll pick up the wheels and combine them with the shopping cart. Shopping cart? Shopping trolley, I'm British. And here we go. I get a break for a few seconds. Always good to be done with a lamp. You can skip some animations if they have dialogue attached. So That's how this game works. So I think some of this has dialogue attached. Yeah, I see. So, nearly done. Also, you guys can't see it, but this game is runs in 3 by 2 so you can see that bit. But the game has no selectable resolution that is 3 by 2 so you're always going to have black bars, and that makes the mouse bits on the side really annoying, mm. as some people might have witnessed. Uh, what am I doing? I need to put that in there first. No. I usually do this all afterwards, but I need to go get the hairspray first. It doesn't matter. It'll stay up there. What? Sometimes I have pro you have to double click to like go to areas, and sometimes I apparently have trouble double clicking <laughs> properly because I seem to either triple click or it detects it as just one. Also, animation. Now I'll just so he's gonna warn Lambert, but Lambert he's break. He talks to Lambert, but Lambert can't hear him, so he stands next to the wall. And <laughs> Insert poop joke here. This is a serious speedrun. Yeah, we have no time for poop Earlier, auto hot was complaining that I was hitting keys too fast, so I had to uh, enable it to go higher. <laughs> it does that? <laughs> yeah, because it assumes you maybe you've made a... Uh, like mm. a, you're stuck in a loop or something yeah. if you're a bad coder, which I am not a bad coder. <laughs> I'm just a good speedrunner. Anyway, so now we we need to figure out who the terrorist is. Uh, so we're at the uh, police lab. So we're going to show Gloria, who's the... What's the name of this person? Uh, who works in... Someone in chat is going to tell me. So we show... We show her the gun. And the gun has traces of um, nail varnish on it. And it's like, well, why is it that? And that's because... Okay, this delays. I forgot. And it's because there happens to be a woman in town who runs a beauty salon, which is also a gun shop. Of course. So that's where the terrorist bought the gun from. We show her this thing that we... I assume he assumes it was blood, but it's the brown sauce. So... What? Barbecue? Barbecue sauce, not brown sauce. I'm such a bad British guy. So just like the first game, you get a map that you can navigate around. So the police station has two rooms in it. The other room oh, yeah. is, um, his name is Solid Base. He's like the IT guy. <laughs> also, that is clearly a Mega Drive controller, right? Looks like it. We're going to show him the heart. We're going to let him scan the hard drive. That is, look, it's got the oh, three buttons and everything. Uh, God damn it, Windows. I was going to like oh, hold up a Mega Drive controller, but like, there wasn't actually one around here. I think yes. he took no, it away. They're all away. So we show him that, and he uses this to locate the IP of the guy. 
which happens to locate to this strip club. They'll be explained. So first, this is where I'm going to have to remember how I actually play this video game. Go to Doreen's first. Because obviously this is the Doreen's this is the actual routing part. Doreen's nail bar and this. army surplus. The woman at the front becomes relevant. Although we're not going to talk to her ever. Doreen is in the back. We need to grab this bucket. That's the only thing we need right now. I like those grenades. <laughs> Didn't even know. In the basket. Um, so now we've got that, I'm going to go to the beef mart. So we need to figure out where this barbecue sauce comes from. And Hector's going to go to his butcher friend. Mm. I need to actually talk to him first. And then, if you use this the item with him, he still does this dialogue tree, so I need to... So he can, like, find out where this barbecue sauce comes from. It comes from a place called Shayla Buffet. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in the background. I just hear people yelling RGB. No clue. Do we call Do we call it barbecue or browns? Like, what's HP? Is that brown sauce? Brown sauce. Yeah. Brown sauce. Different to barbecue sauce. Different. Yes. I don't know how to describe it. Though. Okay, so Never now much. we now we know uh, where, where Shayla Buffet is. We picked up some dead flies from in the uh, the, the 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 meat. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, uh, and we're gonna take some of this slushy. This. So I think first I'm going to go to Doreen's. This is kind of open-ended how I can do this, and I did try and root it, honest. I Seems oh, I don't need to give it him. I need to give this guy. This guy is, like, donating all his... God damn it. I, I was skipping dialogue that didn't exist yet. This yeah, guy's donated all his blood away, so we're going to give him extra blood. Oh, what we, nice. what, you remember... Blood. <laughs> Windows. <laughs> how, how many people are going to see all that stuff on stream? I blame Natty. Um, the reason we want we want to do that we wanted his shirt because we need his shirt to get into the strip club. Um, so that's where we're going to go next. That happened in the beginning of the first game. We had to like get that youth's trousers just so we can get in so we could go outside because Hector wouldn't go outside without his trousers. Oh, I actually realised we need to do something else first. But I'm just gonna. Is this the ball? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that line before. We need to. <laughs> we need to unlock this confessional area, so it's like oh, there's a it's it's a trip. Yeah, <laughs> God I'm damn it! Okay, trip I'm gonna boys. right now Flying lock the Windows key. There we go. Oh sweet! Finally. What a skip! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to find the function key. It's I didn't right. actually know. Yeah, a lot of it. gaming keys you people can do that for that exact reason. Fair. Uh, just mash any dialogue with this because we can't do the right well, answers yet. One another. Um. So I'm going to go outside and talk to... The guy who ran out is... I forget what his name is. He's a footballer whose uh, girlfriend is the woman in the nail bar. Ah, you don't... Now, I've got to remember how to do this dialogue. We've got to trigger him to go back in. He's going to say his name. Um, something out of the confessional. This is how you find out how to get into the confessional, basically. We didn't see him in there, obviously. Um... Uh, odd trout with the priest. Uh, yes, in fact, it was exactly six minutes something seconds. I forget what it is. Uh, something's going on in there. Uh, that's any of those is relevant. Uh, did I do? <laughs> I forget which ones I did. To be honest, the the dialogue I kind of just mashed through because it's so quick. I say quick. There we go. That was the one I wanted. <laughs> that triggers him to go back inside. Steak sauce is the closest equivalent. Okay, I assume they're talking about the American Yeah, th ones. there's an intense sauce discussion. There's sauce yeah. discussion. Oh, Reminds me when I was at ESA, ESA at, uh, at least in Vecqua, I was, I can't do that accent. Um, so six minutes, eight seconds. Uh, they had HP sauce at the breakfast table. I had an impure thought. Oh, yeah, and I lie down until the feeling goes away, which takes us. I just find it really weird because it's Houses of Parliament. Yeah. I didn't realise it was popular outside of the... Unless maybe that hotel is just weird, I don't know. So there's like a oh, totally. <laughs> secret room at the bottom of this uh, strip club. We're not going to go in it yet, I just need to unlock it. First I need to... I think this might be the wrong place. Uh, yeah, it is. I need to go to Shayla Buffet. First. The only, the only thing we need to do here is grab this um, collection tin. Hi. There we go. 
I think go to back to the station now. Remembering this route is kind of hard, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, she throws this heart in here. No. Yeah. This next. I don't know how you're meant to figure this out besides just coming back here. Yeah. I'm guessing they'll just think that you're going to explore. Uh, I think I'm doing this in a really weird order, but it's fine. Here you go. So he t he, this guy talks about how that blood he, that guy gave him earlier was tainted. What? It no. Blood. <laughs> so we give him this heart, <laughs> which just took from the police station, so we can get five hundred dollars cash. Um, now I'm actually forgetting what I'm going to do. Jayla Buffet. I'm going to do this bit first, I think. Hang on, I wonder if I can do the beef products right. bit first. <laughs> you don't know what the beef products bit. Anyway, there's a service called Beef on Demand from Shayla the Buffet that we'll need now. in a bit. Basically. I'd love. Okay, I know what I need to do next, I remember. Back to the fairy furnace. I usually buy that beef on demand thing a lot later in the run, but I'm kind of trying to remember it off the top of my head. So I'm going to use this collection money to buy these um, snoofies. TM. <laughs> I'll explain what they are when they become relevant. So we go inside here. The inside here is that footballer <laughs> whose girlfriend was in the nail this bar. So we need to incriminate him. But the cameras are disconnected <laughs> because for some reason they sell merchandise of the photos of people like they're incriminating or something. But there's also a really there's a guy inside that one-way mirror, one-way glass. That's it. That we're gonna try. We assume he is the terrorist basically because the IP tracks back to this place. I see the photos. Basically, to get to the photos, you have to like buy something from the outside. You saw there was like a vending machine, mm -hmm. but that guy disconnected the cameras, so um, he, he won't. You know, obviously. Is it about you and me? And yeah, okay, that was correct. Uh, no, for God damn it! Correct the wrong option. Uh, about football? Can I tell you something? Uh, he's actually crazy about you. This isn't real speedrun! Oh no, let's just stop. How about a no? Come on. Oh. This is real speedrun. We're losing time! <laughs> yeah. So so now he can't see us reconnect the cameras. <laughs> the only reason we need to do that is so we can get Doreen out of her thing so we can take her on a date. Well, Spoilers. Welcome to the is there Anyway, uh any of these work, because he refuses all of them. This one you have to choose photographs, which is what we want. Uh, we're Eugene Shorty Polchester. What a, what a name. We need to say delete because the machine is broken and it hears that as t shirt. It assumes Hector's a leg extra, extra, extra large or something, you know. Oh, bad jokes. What do I... So now we have that photo on a shirt. <laughs> we can show it to the woman and she can get mad. I'm wondering if I have that bug that I had before, let's see. Sometimes during the conversation with Dorian in a minute, uh, Hector loses his shirt because you're meant to do it so much earlier. So some of the animations are just from before he had the shirt. <laughs> they got lazy, I guess. So we're going to use this. Well, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Did I do a sequence break? I usually have to show her the gun and I forgot I don't need to do that. Because we're still going to go on the date, right? The new strats right here. Oh, sweet. Uh, it, it's forcing me to leave, basically. That's what the map comes up for. Because she's closing. What? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go to Shayla Buffet. Yes, I <laughs> sequence break hype. I actually didn't realize you could do it. There's a sequence break near the end that I do know about. Though. Like, where you, usually you'd have to talk to someone, but you don't have to. But, like, earlier I had to talk to those <laughs> women about the... Um, about the uh, mode of that that right. they need to transport. Mm -hmm. So this is a easy puzzle, but it sure does last a while. Yeah, yeah this is totally world record now that you also found that secret spring. The, the animations are like oh, I like I like I like these. <laughs> yeah. Shoveling them. This is apparently like a really posh restaurant. If you don't know, this is a common restaurant in the UK. They just serve meat and serve up on a plate. 
any of the options. Hang on, I'm actually going to mash this because any of the options, any of the options go through this. Maybe if I had my mouse on it, it would work. I thought it would pull out. I thought it'd always be on it. I'm still waiting for Walter Hockey to complain. I don't know if it will once it's compiled. Not that anyone in chat understands that. I doubt. Finest water. So what we need to do, you remember these, um... Okay. <laughs> God damn it, I forgot how long this takes. <laughs> they, they do cut this animation out going forward. Um, I'm gonna put this in hers. Oh, oh wait, what? Come on, come on. Oops, yeah. Don't go. We need to put dead flies in her plate. Oh, sorry. Oh. See, they do cut the. What is this desktop thing? I'm <laughs> <know. laughs> Break, breaking something on Natty's desktop. Oh, I actually did this the wrong way around. Okay, I messed. It's, it's fine. You have an unlimited supply of flies, so we're just gonna have to redo it. An unlimited meat. Well, they do recycle it apparently, which is the puzzle. <laughs> Okay, so you need to do the Snoopies first. That's what you need to put these in your Be own, because she's clever enough to know that you're not gonna. I'm not even gonna say what they are. It's just obvious. I don't want to talk about it. So if you try to put them in her, she's like, "Oh, I, I, I know that's the oldest trick in the book, mate." So instead, we put them in ours, and it gets recycled, basically. Real speed run here. This is Nan. No, this is not Nan, though. <laughs> Nan's is good. I went there yesterday. No, the day before. Come on, I don't know why I'm mashing. I can't skip any of this. I just forget what the dialogue is. So now we've done that, we're going to put flies in hers again. Don't look now. Again. So this puzzle is really calm, like drawn yeah. out for what it is. We just need to... Basically, we just, also animation. She'll keep this face for a bit. And <laughs> Still shocked. So now all the me has these things in it. Snoofy's TM. I wonder if I can get her stuck in that animation again, because it's kind of funny. I don't know, I usually just mash and see what happens, but she'll just like stay in the animation. So. I can't believe I found a sequence. How did I not even think about that? Like, it, usually it's just I haven't tried it because it's so far into it. There's so many different variations. Yeah. So what you, you're meant to show her the gun, but you could just yeah, and she'll tell you bother. she'll tell you that um, she'll tell you that she keeps the files in the locker behind her, which is why we need the key. Okay. Amazing. Amazing how easy life is with keys. There's a couple other things in here we need to get though. This tanning lamp. Oh. Is it a tanning lamp? Mm. I thought she was a nail bar. Um, and then picked up a merkin. Uh, I don't know if that's what that is, but that's what the game says it is. <laughs> so now, finally got into her drawers. A eh? lamau. Yeah, she. Uh, the woman likes to make a load of sexual innuendos, so he's just responding to it. Like that's how they were gonna go on. A, what you're meant to do is when you show yeah, her the gun. She basically does a load of innuendos Fuck. and is like, um, I'm going to the station. Uh, she goes on about how she basically she flirts with him and wants to go on a date, basically. Murray. Which is why we went on a date. <laughs> Usually, the other woman in there talks Wait, about okay. talks about the uh, she uh, talks about the Shayla buffet and how good it is. Anyway. Uh, I'd like to place We, we need to trace this phone call. Hey, can you do me a favor? Yeah. I'm going to show you a list of beef products. <laughs> I might need your help. Okay. Okay, okay. the first one's easy because it's always. To keep this guy on the line so long, it's meat meatloaf, right? Yeah. Is it, is it randomized? or? I think it might be. This is uh, brisket. Yeah. I can... this, is the, this is the run killer because sometimes uh, casserole. Me scanning that is really annoying. That's like why I don't like doing it. Uh, yeah, stroganoff, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, I can see stroganoff in this. It's, it's only beef specialists in chat. Uh, it's see, look, this is what I mean. Is any uh, what the f anyone know which ones are meat beef product? Borgognon. Yes, there we go. You Thank you. You haven't got Borgognon in your list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've got to add it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks to the guy in the chat as well. This is Basically, not just, we need please, to keep that guy on. Yeah. We need to keep that guy on the line so we can trace where his phone, okay. where the phone call comes from. Got to make a mental note to put Bourguignon on that list. <laughs> it's not only a cart run, but a Twitch chat interactive run. So there's another sequence break here. So basically, basically the guy who runs the beef on demand ser van service, whatever you want to call it, Just is a random teen who likes to make prank videos where he throws beef that barbecue sauce at people so he wants a laptop so he can upload his videos to the internet and make millions and stuff you know that right when did this game come out like 2011 2012 so just for context it still seems to, relevant we need to go back to <laughs> we need to go back to the, the confessional because we uh, need to get uh jiminy the guy who's the guy who we assume is the terrorist out of his hidey hole in the uh, back time also, this game likes crashing sometimes, but it hasn't recently. Sometimes the graphics just... Sometimes the graphics... But are you serious? Did it just happen when you I... Can't, you can't say that. I, it, it usually happens on that scene. So oh, okay. That, uh, <laughs> usually what happens is the graphics start going haywire. So it just puts us here. The game auto saves in a load of places. It's fine. So it's not too bad, but... No. It's a very good time. Usually, usually the graphics just start going... Like, sprites start going black. Uh -oh. I notice. That's why I usually notice. I guess they didn't fast. expect anyone to play it all in one go. Yeah. Same thing happens with driver parallel lines. That someone... BPG did a run of that? On the UKSGs? Uh, that, <laughs> that crashes on the... Did it crash for you on the era change? Or did you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just crashes halfway through the game. For oh. everyone. Mostly. Oh. It did not once for me once. But that's okay. about it. Anyway, this is Jiminy. Jiminy, I think, was his name, right? I don't remember. Who happens to be... The husband of the woman who we just burnt. He has a laptop though. Nice. Uh, anyway, what, what the story is that this, he isn't the terrorist. He just happens to lend his Wi-Fi to the guy living next door. <laughs> so there's nothing really in this house except for this missed delivery from the Royal Mail. They. That is clearly the Royal Mail. Like, oh yeah, no, for sure. So we're gonna pick it up. Uh, so we happen well, to have his signature and the Royal Mail oh, thing. Yeah. So we want to pick up this package, but we don't know what he looks like. And apparently, the I'm people awesome. at the Royal Mail office at the. Post Okay, all is back. So we give him the laptop that has the holiday photos on. That um, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna let chat fill in the blanks. Um, <laughs> the, yeah, they can just guess what's going on. Don't worry, they can read the uh, dialogue. What I, what I mean is, if you if you listen to what I talked about, you'll know exactly what the holiday photos are. <laughs> then they're not poor. Oh, to sight. <laughs> anyway, so now he fell in the now meat. So we need his phone, but his phone doesn't seem to be on him because it fell in this beef. But we do have a fork, nope. so Hector's gonna do the only thing he knows how and just eat <laughs> all the beef. There we go. And the phone's on the floor. So we pick up the phone. Ahead. So now we need to go back to the station because we need to find out. Hector, there's videos on this phone, so we have to Sorry, ask the I IT guy to get the videos off for us. I, I guess Hector's not very good with phones. Because it's an always clearly not talking a smartphone. Yeah, what? It, sometimes the audio does just die from the um, mixer. I think is the problem, right? You're having it happen sometimes. So we watch the video, and in the video happens to be the terrorist. This guy happened to be filming because he happened to order. It, it, it all links in because he had to order the, the, the thing. The, you can figure it out. Also, play the story. So now we know what he looks like. He happens to have a beard. So that's what we need the Merkin for, because we need to look like him. So. Forge's signature. This is illegal. Please don't do this. Um, 
I should say that during all my runs. This is illegal. <laughs> Don't do this. So now he can pick up his parcel. We're nearly done. So you walked in and then put the beard on? Thankfully, they weren't very attentive. This guy, this guy, the thing wasn't open. He has to open it. Ah, I see. That's how all That's post awesome. office work, right? Yeah. Last time, when I was practicing, the game crashed here, funnily enough. It might. Which is oh. not something I've usually had. No, like, it <laughs> crashed before. Okay. There's going to be a video cutscene in a second. There we go. So, we know the terrorists. That that package was a package of Who Cares badges. You know who gave us the Who Cares badge? This tourist information guy who wanted us to... Who happened to want £25,000 to clean up Clapper's Reek. So, who do you think the terrorist is? Mm. I don't think this is PB. This one? No, I don't. I, Lambert's going to be the deciding factor in this. <laughs> no, <laughs> come on! It's, I, no, it's not because this the PB just gone. Okay. My PB is really bad. <laughs> we just need to kick him in. Well, that, that just happened in like two frames. <laughs> now we're going to join him, and. Time. Oh, okay. That was minus home. Sorry. How much farther? Audio oh, problems, yeah, finding it unintentional uh, sequence, break, sequence yeah. breaking. Uh, well, How much time would that I save? Like two, three seconds because you wouldn't matter. Talking to her is your... really annoying. Like she oh, has a load of dialogue. Oh, fair. If you talk to her, good. she'll say like, oh, "Hey, he'll have a look at this gun." She'll look at the gun and I'll say stuff, and then you have to ask her on a date. Makes me want to give it a quick nice. tidy so, up. Yeah, it does save Don't some time. Touch that. Something big is about to I tried to show the final cutscene of the last the run, but no one can hear it in idea. the uh, venue because we had no audio for fall 2018. Thanks for the You've good reached job. The nutty room of I was going to say good no luck. That's good job. Causing widespread panic, but if you leave your... Ah, Hector, you've found my little home away from home. So Who maybe maybe it's next event I'll do the third episode. Well, well, if it uh, which starts off with like a saw parody. Because these guys get captured about looking for you. by the terrorists. Happy times. Let's meet down the pub and we'll have a big old plan laugh ahead. about it. I'll bring the cuffs. <laughs> oh, Hector, we're not finished by a long shot. How are we looking on the schedule, by the way? I was just letting this play out, yeah, to be honest. This for? nearly finished. But saving me the effort of hunting you down. What are you getting at? You I know we're behind. Mm. Can't beat those sunsets, I was on the rest eh, of it. Hector? Are you sure it's Gran? She must have a cold. <laughs> So, yeah. I'll not bother with the evil Just tourist info guy. I'll save it for your also, rendezvous with death. Also, all the voice in this game is done by like two people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think in the credits it shows two people. Nine. Anyway, coming soon, like already. What I want to do is like get back to the menu. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for watching this point and click. I'll see you some. Somewhere. <laughs> Someday. Maybe another map. Uh, ESA at least. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the map.